Well, good morning, folks. Good morning. Good morning. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's here. The day's arrived. It's a sad day. Um, the BMW is going today. Where are we going? We're going to Honda. The day has come. The NT 1100's arrived. Well, oh, what a wait it's been. Five months I've waited for this. Five blooming months. Oh, I tell you what, I'm so looking forward to it. Uh, it's been a long, long time coming. Um, The BM's been alright, it's had a few issues. But, uh, you know, it's needs must. I just wonder if I've got enough fuel to get me there. Yeah, I have. So, yeah, uh, the day's arrived. Well, I don't know how the vi video footage is going to come out today, guys. I'm experimenting with my new Ghost XL Pro. So thank you to um, Craig from Motorevs for doing his review. I've got to give you a mention, pal. Sorry, <laughs> he did a fantastic review on the XL Pro. I uh, decided decided I would go out and buy a new one. Um, not quite retiring the Ghost S just yet, but um, I want to test the Ghost XL Pro today, as this will probably become my main camera. It's uh, if I keep it at 1080p, I should get between 7 and 8 hours worth of um, battery life out of it. Now the thing is, when you're on tour, when you're with the Ghost S, the fantastic cameras, but you've got to take about 3 million batteries with you. Now my Ghost S is now 7 years old, and although it's still a good camera, the batteries are starting to uh, show their age. And we used to get 3 to 4 hours out of a battery, now I'm lucky to get two hours out of it, so you know um, the batteries don't last as long as they used to. And I've had a couple of uh, recently, I've had a couple of failed SD cards. Now th this this video is going to go out before our uh, Scotland trip, so I'll give you a bit of a teaser, a bit of an insight. Um, my Ghost S decided to um, fail on the first day. Um, my whole footage of our ride up to Scotland has been lost. Luckily, race footage is there, and I've got the off-bike footage. Now, whether it was a corrupted SD card, or I don't know, but I kept coming up with um, movie recovery all the time, and the back one started doing it as well. I've re-updated the firmware. I mean, the, the firmware was up to date anyway, but I've uh, I've re-updated it to make sure there's no sort of software, you know, heart, firmware issues, software issues. So anyway. Thank you to um, Craig's review at, uh, on Motorevs for the XL Pro. It's got the stabilisation everything on it. It's a neat little camera actually. Uh, the app works great. Um, you know, with the Wi-Fi and the, I bought the remote as well, which seems to be working all right. A bit fiddly to set up, but once it's up and running, it's okay. So it'd be interesting to see how this footage comes out today and how long the battery lasts for. Um, I've got to sort of have a play with the app and sort of learn how to learn how everything goes, but it seems pretty straightforward, if, if I'm honest. So yeah, Craig, thank you for your review, mate. Uh, also, thank you to Drift. I actually, for the first time ever, used our own blooming Drift code. <laughs> I got 53 quid knocked off and was absolutely made up of it. Yeah, I bought the remote and the camera. The camera should have been 250, and now it's just 20 quid for the remote. So like 269, I think it cost me that. Anyway, I got 53 quid knocked off. Well, nearly 54. So thank you for that drift. Pleasure. Well, folks, the last hundred yards. There she is. There's Honda. Nice, very nice looking NT parked over there. Hi pal, you alright? Sorry, I'm not blocking you in there, am I, mate? No, 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 we're here for a while, picking the bike up. Yeah, so I'm picking the bike up now, so, yeah. Well, folks, I'm here. 
18,998 I did it at the end. Anyway, I, th I reckon that NT over there is mine. But I shall check in a minute. Catch you in a minute, guys. Well, folks, here she is. Look at her. Say bye bye to the BM. Hello, NT. You wouldn't believe it. I've been here two minutes. Go in to get my keys, come back out. Birds crapped all over the bike. You just couldn't make it. You couldn't write it, could you? Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Oh. Oh. oh, she sounds lovely. I'm looking for the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> just gone like that. I'm looking for the clutch and the gears. There's nothing there. Sounds lovely, doesn't she? Basically, all it is is the Africa Twin, innit, where they, they put a shorter, shorter base on it and put a... So it's uh, right, where's drive? Well, folks, what do you think? DCT, Honda. You can tell I'm a little bit nervous, I'm just waiting for these cars to go. Keep looking for the clutch. <laughs> This seat feels lovely. I've got my screen on the lowest setting at the moment, so I'm going to have to do something with that. Brakes feel lovely. What I've noticed are this straight away, folks. How easy it is to control at low speed. Well, this is it. It's a new era. Absolutely new era. Um, she's got got five mile on the clock. Would you believe it? So, like with the last bike, hopefully you're going to watch the mileage grow on this. Touch wood at the moment. It's not raining. It's currently a beautiful 17 degrees. Keep looking for the kids. Please don't pull out. Yeah, the screen's just slightly too low. I'll do a full walk around in a minute, guys. I just want to uh, get used to it first. She smells brand new. There's a few little bits I've noticed that look a bit weird. I mean, they could have tidied those wires up a little bit more down there, I suppose. But doesn't she look lovely in grey, though? The grey looks beautiful. It's a lovely colour. They've given me the tamp bag. Um, I've told them not to put it on because I've heard all kinds of rumours of the tamp bag scratching the tank. And they didn't want that. So um, I said to them, look, don't, you know, don't put the tank back on. But uh, she looks, she does, she looks and feels, feels absolutely lovely. The indicators are on all the time on these, a bit like the American ones. Um... And like some of the reviews, I have just noticed, and I completely agree with them. I didn't notice this when I, I rode the uh, rode the demo, but you can see the reflections of the indicators and those little um, thingies. But anyway, um, th thank you, I say to Chester Honda. They've been absolutely fantastic. Smith's Honda have been amazing. Guys, you've done a good job. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I had to wait five months, but, you know, it's not the end of the world, is it? But uh, it's been a long time coming. And this is the first generation, first gen of the NT 1100. Let's hope there's going to be many more. Uh, so I'll have to figure out how to adjust the screen. It's just a quick pant. You have to squeeze it a little bit and just pull up. I'll put up one or two uh, notches. Might do that in a minute, actually, so I can figure that out. Mirrors are bright, brilliant. They're going to fit me sat nav to me, and they're going to wire it into uh, ignition live. So I haven't got to worry about that. Don't like wiring things direct to the battery. So you show me how to do the spotlights. They're on. I know how to do them now. The heated grips. Know how to work that. Know how to reset the trip. <laughs> I know where the horn is. Hazard lights are. Just need to learn how to ride. 
so yeah once again thank you for all the followers I apologize to any BMW owners out there I really do um, if I hadn't had all the issues with the BM do you know what I would have kept the bike and I mean I really would have kept the bike uh, sadly it just it just wasn't for me um, You know, and it's a shame really because when she worked she was beautiful but we're on to new new stories now aren't we but it's, this is just effortless to ride oh, she sounds beautiful Hi folks, how are we all doing? Well, I thought I'd give you a good look at the new bike. This is a new Honda NT1100, uh, based on the Africa Twin. Uh, lowered the uh, suspension on it, they have put uh, road wheels on it. But pretty much other than that, it is, it is damn it, the same bike. There you go, I've, uh, this is my new one. It's got the uh, Voyage pack on it, so uh, got the top box on it got the uh, comfort seat so the top box is great actually fair amount of space in that uh, going for the comfort seat which is amazing by the way uh, this one I know some people don't like it but I've gone for the uh, DCT and I've also gone for the spotlights at the front which look amazing overall I've been very very impressed of it oh and they put the uh, bigger See down here, they put the bigger pegs on. Bigger pegs on for the pillion. The exhaust sounds absolutely gorgeous. Top box is not a bad size, actually. Um, it's okay. So I'll show you that. So, folks, there's the uh, top box. Not a bad size, to be honest with you. Uh, I have got bags that will go in there. Uh, it comes with an insert when you buy the Voyage Pack. And the side panniers are the same. Now it's, it's the side panniers aren't massive. Thirty within the thirty-three liters and thirty-six liters, I think. So they're not, you know, they're not massive in uh, from a storage point of view, but they're okay. But yep, yeah, there she is. You'll recognise the hang handlebar configuration is all based on the Africa Twin. You've got your sort of touchscreen display there. Uh, there's that QWERTY keyboard uh, control, the floppy paddle for the gears, and then the details of the information system. It's got the handbrake for the DCT model, and then there's your, your gear in there. Um, you've also got your, your cigarette lighter style port, and on this side, there's a down there, you can, there's a USB which you connect for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I am going to source um, a tan bag for it. Um, the most attack one is the one of the best ones by the looks of it, so I'm going to source that. But I'm absolutely made up of it, especially in the grey. looks absolutely beautiful. I think it's a lovely looking bike. Just close that top box. But no, it's... Um, she, she was amazing. I rode her yesterday. Um, I've done about 85 mile on it. Uh, I'm going to redo some of the footage for the ride today. <laughs> because... Um, very unprofessional of me, some muppet. Um, <laughs> didn't set his cameras right, so for most of the ride, I was filming me crotch. Not, not that, not that anyone wanted to hear that. So uh, anyway, this is it. This is the uh, NC eleven hundred. Hi YouTube, how are we all doing? Well, <laughs> um. You would have seen the original footage of me picking up the bike, and to be fair, uh, it was pretty appalling, so I apologise up front. What I've done is I've bought a new Ghost XL Pro, which I spoke about on the, uh, the original video. Instead of me using my Ghost S, because I'm used to that, I thought I'd try the new camera. Now, you would expect the position on the helmet 
putting a new camera in, the position should be the same. No. I spent most of the day filming my tank. <laughs> it wasn't uh, it wasn't particularly good. So I've adjusted it, I've put in the extension um, the extension bar to um, to the drift and uh, hopefully now because it's raised I can't go there because it's raised a bit more to the helmet um, should be able to see a bit more so oh, it's roasting by the way it's muggy and overcast but it's roasting So yeah, um, NT, absolutely loving it. Uh, it's brilliant. She feels nice, nice and smooth. She feels really smooth, in fact, actually. Um, I'm still got teething issues with the Ghost XL Pro. Uh, as I alluded to a minute ago, I um, was <laughs> filming most of the dashboard and filming most of the uh, most of the tank yesterday. So. I don't know how long the battery's going to last in the Pro, I've not bothered charging it because the original test was to see how, how long the battery would last. Um, and currently, it's done alright actually, we've still got two bars in it. So I did four hours yesterday and I only used half the battery life, which would sort of indicate to me that I should get about eight hours at 1080p, 60 frames a second. So this is a second test of the camera and another... <laughs> <laughs> and another film of the ride folks so yeah i'm on the nt um she is a dream she's lovely she handles well um can't wait to sort of ride her properly i'm obviously doing the uh the running in process at the moment yeah she's a she's smooth she's comfy there's a few things i like i can stand up which is really nice give your legs a stretch the seating position is amazing you've got like a a well thing you sit into so it's uh it's great for the you know for, for great you separate it from the pillion but at the same time it gives you something to lean on so it's currently five past two on sunday and uh, sunday the 19th of june 2022 so i've had the bike a day uh, i've currently done 96 miles on it folks so i've, I've got to do 600 before the first service the wind deflectors are great and the screen's great. Now I've put it to where, where I wanted to. Now what you won't see on the video yesterday, because the filming was awful, was um, the bike itself is amazing. I love everything about it. The only complaint I've got at this early stage is the bloody screen. <laughs> um, absolute nightmare to adjust it really is a nightmare to adjust so it's a, that is my only gripe at this stage now i've seen reviews on it and people saying you know what's the screen like <laughs> it's a nightmare it really is so th th again this is another test of the camera folks we're going to get a few videos testing the new ghost, ghost xl pro and i will do a review of it at some point um just give you my thoughts on it i mean the battery life seems to be great I mean, the quality, the image quality seems to be amazing. It's just, uh, there's two little things with it. One, I have had to adjust the the, the, the angle of it because it wasn't like the Ghost S. And I'm still, I mean, the Ghost S HT is still hard to beat. It's a bloody good camera, that. The other thing is the field of vision. Now, the field of vision, or field of view, as some people call it, is only 140 degrees on the XL Pro, where it's 160 on the uh, Drift Ghost S. So you know, although yes, I mean, all I've got to do is turn my head, it's not quite picking everything up as much as, um, as much as I wanted to. I mean, it's, well, it's just a turn of the head, but you know, it's okay. Um, the the stabilisation I haven't checked yet. I don't know what that's going to be like, but I think it's going to be okay. Got me my rope wired up on the camera today as well, so um, find a nice little place to put it. On the uh, on the handlebars, the actual view um, of the bike, you know, the uh, the visibility, etc., is amazing. Absolutely amazing. 
I've had a bit of stick off Ray for not getting the camera right. <laughs> Which is to be expected from Mr. Jones. Um, had a, bit, a little bit of stick off uh, a few of the other guys as well, you know, and rightly deserved. <laughs> rightly deserved. Can't argue with that. Oh, yeah. But the um, handlebars are completely different compared to the uh, BM and more, more sit up again. So it's a different part, different rhyme position, and uh, feeling a little bit strange on the old hand because it's, uh, so it's a different position of the throttle. And so that your throttle response is different on the DCT anyway. So anyway, folks, yeah, absolutely loving it. I keep going for the clutch, mind. So, um, but yeah, the uh, the dashboard, as you can see, I'm going to have to tilt this down a little bit, is uh, great. You've got all your dis typical displays. I've figured out how to uh, reset the trip, which has been good. Because <laughs> that was a bit, uh, <laughs> even the shop couldn't figure it out at first. But yeah, it's, um, this has been great. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to getting out and getting a bit of riding done. So, so now it's done exactly a hundred, well, the bike's done exactly a hundred mile. Wow. She's got a lovely tone to her, I must admit. She does sound lovely. One thing I've actually got used to again is a set of keys. <laughs> that BMW for three years. Um, I put my winter gloves on so my hands were bloody freezing yesterday. So I put them on. Uh, it's not as nice as it was last week, I tell you. All that lovely weather we had last week. Oh, we've got a bit of rain coming, haven't we? We've got a new bike. <laughs> 